if it's Christmas, it must be July. And that means it's time for our annual Christmas in July challenge. Hello, everybody. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And this is day 16 of our annual Christmas in July challenge. Yesterday, we talked about uh, moving Christmas cards. Today, we're going to talk about gift tags and gift cards because they are so easy to do. Now, I know that gift tags aren't expensive and that, you know, you can buy them quite cheaply and you can even, you know, if you're smart, you've even bought them last year in the sales. But you know what? Why do you have to have the same gift tags as everybody else? Why can't your gift tags be unique and special, made just by you? Take a look through your wrapping paper, through your Christmas cards, through the gift bags, and see what the theme is and see if you can make matching gift tags for those. It's actually really, really easy. You know, all you need to do is cut a circle or get creative with a cookie cutter perhaps. You can make gingerbread men, use your biscuit cutters for shapes, and that's your tag done. Now, I like, I like the hearts, I like the circles to make wreaths, and they're really simple. You just need a bigger circle, a smaller circle, stick them together and then cut out the centre. Then you can decorate them however you like. I've used our biscuit cutters to make gift tags for years, since the children were really little, simply because I didn't have the money to buy them and I didn't have the money for any fancy punches or dies or anything back then either. So my biscuit cutters are the shapes that I love. And I love that they're different to everyone else's. Now, yes, you do need to cut them out with scissors. But if your kids are old enough, let them help. It used to be a school holiday activity for us. Third term holidays, make the gift tags and get them all done. The kids would spend an afternoon doing it. Then once you've done them and they're all cut out, all you need to do is punch a small hole in them with a hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, a Phillips head screwdriver, push through the paper or the cardstock makes a hole. Just be sure to do it over a breadboard so you don't damage the table or the bench, but it's really easy. Then put a piece of ribbon on or some string or some twine or um, even elastic, coloured elastic will do. And the gift tag's done. All you've got to do then is write on the back to and from. Now I've got a little stamp that says to and from. I guard it with my life. I've had it for years and they're really tricky to come by. This gift tag was made um, from some leftover uh, scrapbooking paper. And all I did was measure up the sides, put a dot with a pencil and cut it, cut on the lines, poke a hole in it, it was done. It was really simple. No special tools needed for it at all. This one, same, little piece of leftover um, card and it has nothing on it. It's ready for me to decorate. Punched a hole in it. I rounded off the corners. Simple and easy. This one, a little piece of ribbon there. And it's exactly the same, but it's like the little book style. So a piece of wrapping paper that was left over. Cut out a flowery thing. Put a stamp on it. And it's ready to go. You don't need a lot of materials and expensive things. Same deal with this. Cut it out. I used my 99 cent crinkly scissors to cut this out. Yeah, it, it, you do have to be patient to do the circle, but it works. And those are just little triangles cut out of um, wrapping paper and stuck together, but they're in the shape of a Christmas tree. It costs nothing and those scraps of paper would most likely have gone into the bin. If you have stamps or stickers or silk or paper flowers or some of those stick-on gems, you can embellish your gift tags to your heart's content. And you know that your gift tags are unique. No one else is going to have them. 
You can even make them to match your handmade Christmas cards. Just make sure that, trust me, I know, you just need to make sure that you make a note of who gets each card so that you put the right gift tag on their gift. I have more fun and frugal ideas for mooing gift tags over on the Cheap Skates Club website and I'll be putting the link underneath me here. So please go over and have a look. There might be something that really, really just grabs you and you can spend this weekend making your gift tags. If you know someone who might like our Christmas in July series or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, please share this video with them by clicking the share link below me. And I'll be back tomorrow with another great Christmas in July idea brought to you by the Cheapskates Club.